Hey YouTube, so uh, tonight I w wasn't actually planning on doing a video. Um, but the last couple of days, I, you know, just browsing online, checking out different you know, vinyl hashtags, and yeah, you know, I just browse on vinyl because I'm a nerd and that's what I do. And um, I noticed there was a lot of pretty awesome albums having like birthdays. And yesterday was uh, Tattoo You. I believe it's the 35th anniversary of this or you know release and um not knowing when i got home that i was gonna have the the uh ebay box waiting for me i was actually gonna do a video on this album um but again you know i did the video yesterday for the youtube um, excuse me for the ebay album, uh, box that i opened up um so I didn't end up doing that. Well, then today I'm at lunch and I'm browsing on the internet and I come across that there were a few birthdays today um, of some albums that are pretty awesome. Um, and so I basically just went online and searched, you know, albums released on August 25th. And August 25th was pretty loaded music history. Um, several really, really significant albums were released on August 25th, but also there's a lot of tragedy, uh, which I was kind of shocked to see. Uh, today marks the anniversary of uh, Snoop Dogg um, being convicted of murder, which obviously spawned the, uh, the track uh, Murder Was the Case. Uh, Today also marks the anniversary of the uh, R&B artist Aaliyah uh, getting in the plane crash and passing away. Um, she was a big up-and-coming R&B artist, and she was very young. I, I want to say she was 19 when she uh, was in that plane crash. So, um, And I saw a lot of people spinning her album today. And um, so again, I'm just going down the list reading, and I see uh, Jimmy Buffett had like a plane crash per se. I think that when he was taking off his plane, like, like flipped over. And I, I guess it was like in like a, a river or something that was near or, or a lake or, a, um, so he ended up having to like swim back to shore. Um, the, one of the members of skinny puppy was found dead. I believe it was in like 1995 on this day, uh, due to a drug overdose. Uh, so yeah, it was just like, I was, kind of blown away with all the everything that happened on August 25th so in light of that I figured I would just do a real quick kind of fun video of some of the album releases that were uh, mentioned so again Tattoo You is uh, 30th 5th anniversary yesterday um, so I, I figured I'd have to give a quick mention to that because that's a that's a great album um, but today uh, 1975 marks the birthday for Bruce Springsteen's Born to Run. Uh, this is a great record. Um, considered one of the top albums of all time. I um, believe on the Rolling Stone it's in the top 20 or 25. Um, so happy birthday to Born to Run. That is a, a landmark album. One year later, um, Boston's self-titled album was released on this day. Another great album. So that would have been 1976. And this is one of my, one of my favorites uh, coming up. So in 19, I believe it's 86, so this would have been 10 years after Boston, we've got Paul Simon's Graceland. Um, the first time I heard this album, well anything off this album was probably like most of us, which was You Can Call Me Al. Um, I, I would, I, I'm actually 36 years old, um, so I was quite young when this came out, I was six. Um, but I can remember the music video with, uh, Chevy Chase singing, um, with Paul Simon. It was a pretty humorous video. I've watched it a few times recently. Um, kind of just like a nostalgia thing. 
Um, that was a real humorous video. But um, this is a great record. Um, so a couple of albums uh, off the top that I don't actually have on vinyl. Uh, Metallica 1988 released and Justice for All on this day. Um, probably one of their heaviest albums, um, even for Metallica standard. Um, what else? There was a couple of just random uh, weird facts on this day um, that you you know you may want to Google and check it out. But um, like I said, I, I go on and Google albums released on August 25th and I believe the first thing that comes up on Google is the list that I found and like I said I found it pretty interesting um, so happy birthday to Graceland Boston born to run um, injustice for all and there's a few others out there but um, yeah again I thought it was a kind of cool video cool music history and um, uh, thanks for watching again